so earlier today, um, Silver Diva posted a video of of a dragon and phoenix coin that people think is an error coin. She posted a she posted one that is slabbed. So Silver Diva's video further proves my point that the dragon and phoenix coins are not error coins. They are die varieties. I mean, let's look at the slab. So usually when NGC slabs an error coin, uh, you would see a designation that designates this coin as being an error coin. But you don't see any designation uh, on the slab saying that it's an error coin. So let's go look at, at another slab. So this is a 2015 Gold Eagle that has been struck through. Um, it said, it specifically said mint error on the slab. While in Silver Diva's Dragon and Phoenix coin that people think is an error, uh, yeah, NGC does, did, did not designate it as an error coin. So this proves my point that the Dragon and Phoenix coins that people think are errors, they, those coins are actually die varieties. So, you know, it is very easy to get confused between what is a die variety and what is an what is an error coin. So, let me just give you a basic uh a basic definition of what is an error coin and what is a die variety. So, an error coin is a coin that has defects that originated from the manufacturing process. So let's get back to the previous photo. So this is a 2015 Gold Eagle. It has been struck through. So this is an example of what an error coin is supposed to be. Because the defects on this coin stems from the manufacturing process. As you can see, a big chunk of metal was missing. So if you look really closely, a big chunk of metal is missing from the planchet. So the planchet, so this the planchet of this coin was ill prepared, which results in a big chunk of metal being uh, missing when the coin was struck. So that's a that's a mint error. So NGC that's why I stated that's why NGC stated that it is a mint error. So yeah, for an error coin, the the problems uh, originate from the minting process. Now let's talk about what a die variety is. So, in the case of a die variety, um, the problems on a coin uh, stems from the from the dies. So in the case of a die variety, such as the Dragon and Phoenix, in the case of a die variety, the problems on that coin originated from the, from, from the dies. So that's the main difference between an error coin and a die variety. In the case of an error coin, the defects originated from the minting process. In the case of a die variety, the problems originated from the from the die. So, here's another uh, example of why the dragon and phoenix coin is a die variety rather than an, an error coin. So, so here's the thing: uh, when 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 people first started talking about how the dragon and phoenix is an error coin, when people are finding, when people first started to find these dragon and phoenix coins with these defects, um, you'll notice that there are quite a few people who found these uh, dragon and phoenix coins. Silver Diva herself stated that uh, there's estimated to be around. 2,000 of these Dragon and Phoenix coins with the defects. 
So the reason, so the fact that so many of these Dragon and Phoenix coins exist with these defects further proves that they're die varieties, not error coins. So, so here's the thing. Uh, in the case of a of an actual error coin, well, error error coins tend to be uh, random coins that got defects from the minting process. Because error coins are just random coins that that got defected during the minting process, no two error coin will look alike. So each error coin will look unique. So you know you see uh, mint error like so you see struck through. So if I was to uh, see another, if I was to grab another struck through uh, gold eagle, it would look different from this one. So because because you know um, error coins are, are are random occurrences during the minting process, no two error coin will look alike. So let's talk about what. So let's talk about die varieties. Remember, I said that uh, die varieties. Uh, in the case of die varieties, the problem originated from a defective die. Well, here's my point. A lot of people found these dragon and phoenix coins with these defects, and and every and everybody's dragon and phoenix coin. They all look alike. They all have the same defect. So, when people found these mirrored gap dragon and phoenix coins, they all look alike. So all the so-called, uh, so all the coins that people have been calling errors are not really errors because, because they all have the mirrored gap. All the coins that people are calling error coins, they all have the mirror gap. So they're die varieties. Because, because, because 2,000 of these coins with the mirror gap, they, they were all struck from the same defective die. They all look alike. So that proves that they're die varieties. Because they, they were all struck from the same die, they all look alike. So that proves that these are not error coins. The, so in the case of these mirror gap dragon and phoenix coins, they were struck from the same defective die. So so yeah, so the batch of coins that were struck from the from the defective die, those are all die varieties. <coughs> so I mean I I, I really can't explain it any simpler than that. Um, I mean, I've been I've been arguing with so many people that these are die varieties, that these are not error coins. Um, I mean, you only need, I mean, even NGC's website, uh, they had an article talking about a die variety versus an error coin, and you know. This is not the first time I've seen a die variety that's similar to the Dragon Phoenix coins. So we all know Ch we all know Chinese pandas, right? So the Chinese pandas have had a similar die variety to uh, to the Dragon Phoenix coins. So there is so the 2003 Chinese gold pandas have uh, two die varieties. So they had a frosted bamboo and a mirrored bamboo. Doesn't that look familiar to, to you guys? This is a similar case to the Dragon and Phoenix coins. So in, in the frosted bamboo die variety, the bamboo is frosted. In the mirrored bamboo die variety, the bamboo has a, has a proof-like mirror finish. So yeah, NGC designated these panda coins as die varieties. You do not see the words error anywhere on, on the slab. See, notice you don't see the word error anywhere because NGC recognizes these coins as die varieties. 
very similar to the Dragon Phoenix. You don't see the word error anywhere on the slab. Instead, you see mirror gap. So it's very similar to the Chinese Panda coins. These are dot. These Dragon and Phoenix coins are die varieties. See, see, you can even see the connection. Mirror gap. Mirrored bamboo. I mean, it's simple. So, Dragon and Phoenix coins. Those are die varieties. They are not error coins. I mean, you don't see Dragon Phoenix coins with clipped planchets or missing bits of metal like this. So, so now you guys know what the difference between a die variety and an error coin. So, you know, many of the most popular coin series out there uh, have many die varieties. So, you know why the Chinese Panda coins were so popular? It's because the Chinese Panda coins had many die varieties. You wonder why the Morgan Silver Dollar is so popular? Well, the Morgan Silver Dollar had hundreds of die varieties. So that's why the Morgan Dollars were popular. And that's why the Pandas are popular. So, die varieties are a good thing because die varieties increases the... The collectability of a series. Okay, so I mean, I I can't get it any simpler than this. I mean, I mean, you can comment in the section your opinions, but I mean, it's I mean, I've been reading about numismatics for a long time. If you read any of the articles I've shown you, which I'll show in, which I will put in the links, you know. You guys will know the difference between a dive variety and a mint error. So yeah, peace YouTube.